Welcome back. Thank you for completing the activity on the last slide for me. So, hopefully you still have your Bibles open. Um, if not, we're going to now look at page 1667. Um, so that's the very next page from the story that we were reading. And we're going to read the green understand it box. Um, if you need a minute to find that, please pause this video now and feel free to go find that. All right. So you can just listen to the words that I'm going to read, okay? So in this gospel story, a great crowd had come to hear Jesus speak. A long time passed, and the people were getting hungry. Jesus didn't want them to go without food. So he found a way to make sure all the people were fed. A boy had five loaves of bread and two fish. Jesus took this food, thanked God for it. Then a miracle happened, and more bread and fish appeared. Then Jesus gave it to the people until everyone was full. There were even leftovers. Jesus could do wonderful things like this because he is God. Today, Jesus feeds people all over the world with the Eucharist at Mass. This is bread that is Jesus himself. The Eucharist nourishes our souls and brings us closer to God. Wow, that is amazing. And that, I think, is really the best gift we could ever get, is receiving Jesus himself at Mass. And you guys are going to receive that gift very soon. So, let's go over a couple of vocabulary words that we heard. So, the word merciful, I think we talked about this with the Sacrament of Reconciliation, but does anybody remember what that means? It's a hard one. So, merciful means showing great love and forgiveness to others. And we say that God is a very merciful God because God shows us this love and forgiveness. And the word redeemer means one who helps us be the best we can be. And that's Jesus. We call Jesus our redeemer. All right. So, as I just said, Holy Communion is a gift that Jesus gives us to show that he cares for us. And that, you know, when we receive Holy Communion, it helps us become more like Jesus and it helps us to grow closer to God. And we all want to be more like Jesus, right? Yeah. All right. So at this time, um, we're going to watch a video and do an activity. We're going to do a craft. All right. So I want you to turn to the next slide and watch a YouTube video about um, the story that we just read. And then after that, we're going to do a craft, but I'll explain the craft in my next video. So you're going to do two things. Number one, you're going to go to the next slide and watch this YouTube video. And then number two, you're going to turn to the next slide and watch my video and we're going to do a craft together. Okay. All right. So I'll see you in a few minutes.